Over the years, I've been inspired by towns all over Europe that have focused on civic space and access to sustainable modes of travel, as well as enlightened spatial, regional and town planning. This has shaped their communities to function well for people and families. But in contrast, the levels of vacancy and abandonment we see here in Ireland isn't the norm for Northern Europe. So where have we gone wrong and how do we get this right? It's a very misty morning here in Boyle, but Boyle is a very attractive architectural town. And there was used to be a great sense of activity, vibrancy, sense of community here in the town. Now when I look above the shop floor, I see a lot of buildings left vacant and as if there's very few people living in the town. But could a new initiative called Boyle 2040 help to reinvent and revitalise this beautiful historic town? To get a feel for Boyle, I started my quest with an impromptu haircut. Hi. Duncan, how are you? Nice oh, you to know meet me. you. Hi, Very please welcome. meet you. Are you from the town? I am, yes. I would have grown up here, I'd have gone to school here. Right. And then I came back and opened my business here uh, 22 years ago. Right, and over that so, time that you've been here, how has it changed? There was quite a lot of businesses in the town at the time, and people were looking out for each other. And at that time, Boyle was doing very well because we had two hotels that time. Unfortunately, we don't have a hotel now. Was it and a more vibrant town then? It was, yes. And there was quite a lot of people living over all their businesses at that time. Over living the in shops. the town over their shops at that stage, yeah. The town changed since then. You know, it has got quieter. There in wouldn't the be many families living in the town now. They would have moved out to the countryside and moved to other places. Right. You and know, is there a good sense of community here? There is. And I mean, people do people come and good. meet and have meetings about their town and the, they about do. the future of the town? It's very good to keep that community spirit that every person looks out for each other in business. You know, when you support each other, I would support everything in Boyle. You've done a great job there. I think I'm getting a little bit grey on the sides. You are, but at the same time, it's very natural. It suits your skin, it suits your face. <laughs> You're very flattering. <laughs> You're very flattering, and thank you. Boyle is also home to Ireland's oldest stonemasons, who have kept a family business going in the town since 1780. They've been an incredible witness to changing times. Come on, Duncan. Harry. When we started off as uh, monumental sculptors, it was just a family business. In my time, we had 60, 70 people working here. So how has it been since then, Finbar? It's changed a lot. So it's a lot of computer work now. We're ordering in monuments made to measure. Yeah, we've gone from 70 employees 25 years ago to about 35 now. So over your years in Boyle, Barry, how has the town changed? One of the things that's very noticeable is the amount of people that moved out of the town to suburban houses, because everybody lived over their shop. Also, there were so many little grocery shops and all those lovely little shops. It was a social outing to come shopping. But now it's different in the supermarket. There's nobody, it's too busy. How is it now today, Finbar? It's picking up, definitely picking up. Like any, every town has struggled a bit during the downturn in, in the country. But Boyle is definitely on the bounce back and you've, you've heard about the 2040 plan that's been announced a few months ago. So a lot of investment coming into town. It's nice to hear there's some hope for the future coming back into town. Arguably, the man with the most responsibility for that is Hello, County Council CEO Hi, Eugene you. Commons. Unfortunately, like a lot of towns in rural Ireland, Boyle has problems in terms of dereliction. Uh, it's something that we're very conscious of. So why do we see so much dereliction well, in the town? Well, above all, it's the loss of people. People have left our town centres and once dereliction starts, no one wants to live beside dereliction. And of course, one-off rural housing. People wanted their big house out the country. And of course, people leave their homes in their cars, they commute to work, yes. they probably commute to out-of-town shopping centres, spend their money there, yes. and probably leave very little in for the town. But well, what we have to realise as well, that a strong town or a strong village is the heart and soul of the broader community. The Royal Hotel personifies any derelict building in any rural town. But above all, it personifies our proactive intent to do something. So we're going to bring it back into a modern enterprise centre, community spaces and maybe art exhibitions or maybe a tourist office. I strongly believe that one of the many issues that the cause of 
the direction in our town centres is that whole idea of nostalgic sentiment for people kind of too caught up in the past, especially people who own derelict property, they have to be more willing to let it go and to let it to be reinvented again as a, as a vibrant community, albeit a different one. So you'd like to see a lot more people living back in the town, would you? We have to get people back into the town centre. Living here? We have to. What does the county council need to do to make this happen? Well, we have a very clear strategy for the development of the town, and it's called Boyle 2040. Boyle 2040 is a plan to achieve high quality and high density urban family living by focusing on revitalising its civic amenity spaces and redeveloping derelict brownfield sites within the urban realm. So if you're going to get people to live back in the town, and families especially, how are you going to make that happen? Well, we have to give priority back to the pedestrians and the cyclists. Whether we like it or not, there's going to be a lot less traffic and it's not going to be allowed into our town centres at some stage. And if we look here, when they were designing the towns like this, they had a tendency to turn uh, their back on the river. Can you imagine if there were beautiful buildings here, apartments, where you know, people could enjoy living here with, with fronting onto the river. It would be a beautiful right, place to absolutely, live. absolutely, yeah. Huge opportunity to redevelop it as family units and a huge opportunity to create new civic spaces, new walkways, to connect the whole town in, in a more comprehensive way and to have areas where mums and dads come out with their youngsters to walk and to get the congestion off the streets. There's an awful lot of work to be done to right. create a nice place to raise a family. And where's all the money going to come from? We have 4.4 million earmarked. That wouldn't have happened without the initiative of the, the Rural Regeneration Development Fund. And it has been a game changer for rural Ireland. The new Boyle 2040 strategy may already have had an impact. The first residents opting to live in town in many years are the family of local football star, Sean Purcell. Sean, Katrina, you've got a wonderful house here. And you've done a beautiful job with it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've really modernised here. And where were you living before? We were living a couple of miles out the road, well, a mile or two out the road. This was my granddad's house, and we decided we'd give up rent and renovate it, see if we yeah. get a mortgage. We got the mortgage and renovate it, and we haven't looked back since. We love it. And compared to before, you know, what's the difference? Very easy access to all the amenities in town, and, you know, the park is down the street for the kids, and going for walks out to the forest park and everything, it's just easy. It's a walking distance everywhere. Whereas when we were living outside town, we'd have to get into the car, drive into town, get the milk, it takes a lot longer. Like if I want milk now, I literally have to walk two minutes across the road. Katrina would have been five or six miles outside Castlebar, so she would have been well used to have fields yeah. all around her. Yeah, sure. I didn't think I would settle here as yeah. well, or adapt as well as I have. Yeah, and do you feel confident for the town, say, in 10 years time, 20 years time? Of course, with all the initiatives that's happening now, we've got a, the Boyle Town Committee and um, they're always trying to better the town. And we hope to see the streets alive again and more people living in the town and more businesses come into the town. There's a great community here and I don't see why, why you would choose to live outside the town. It's a good place to be. The hope generated by the local community town team seems to be contagious. I'm off to meet the founder of the community group, Brian Nurney, to find out the secret of its emerging success. Well, two things, Duncan, I think that were very important to us was one, our relationship with Roscommon County Council. We didn't work against the council. I think that's very important. We worked with the council, and that is extremely important for any town to develop. Secondly, uh, we had a plan in place, this, the Boyle 2040 plan, and I suppose the third thing was positivity. Look and see what you've got. Look and see the positive things you have in your town and work on them and develop them. And I think the council liked that, and they liked our attitude, and uh, I think so did the Department of uh, Rural Affairs as well, who have, who have been very good to us also. And how did you get consensus now from the whole community, all the shopkeepers and all Others that kind of use the town. Well, the people in Boyle were, for years, they were screaming out for development and screaming out for sustainable and organised development in the town. And I think when the town team and Roscommon County Council worked together, people in Boyle bought into it because they knew that it was going to benefit everybody. People are excited. There's a near of positivity around Boyle that in my long number of years here, I've never seen before. We're a small town in rural Ireland, in the west of the Ireland, on the edge of the edge. If we can do it, anybody can do it.
After meeting some of the community leaders of Boyle, I feel more confident in the future of this town. The new national planning framework sets out to prioritise sustainable development of high quality revitalisation within existing built up areas. All local authorities across the country will publish their plans in the coming year. Through public consultation, we'll all have a chance to have our say in the future developments that affect our communities. It's up to all of us to get involved and to collectively ensure that these plans are well considered in the best interest of our local area, our health and our environment. <laughs>